Believe it or not, the uh, medical profession swear by Apollyon the Destroyer, the beast from the pit from the book of Revelation that they will do no harm. Believe it or not, Apollyon the Destroyer was known as the Healer, <laughs> which of course is what Jesus Christ is, not the beast from the pit from the book of Revelation. But uh, this is the, uh, uh, the, the original oath, the Hippocratic oath, um, the medical profession swear by it, and I think a lot of them don't really understand what it is that they're doing. This is um, the original uh, manuscript here, and it's, it's a cross. It's a cross, a mark, an X or a cross, the same thing. It's a mark of the beast. Now, listen to this. I I'm not going to say it exactly as they say it, because I do not swear upon Apollyon in any shape or form. In fact, I don't swear on anything, even by my own God, Jesus Christ, uh, because the Father says not to swear by anything in heaven or earth, because it's not ours, it's his. So this is what it says. Um, I'm not going to say exactly like they say it, because I'm not going to swear by Apollo. It says that they swear by Apollo, the healer, uh, As Asclepius, Hygieia, and Panacea. These are other Nephilim abominations. And I take to witness all the gods and goddesses. This is blasphemy against the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit here. To keep according to my ability and my judgment, the following oath and agreement. So actually it's an agreement. So you're entering into an agreement based upon Apollyon the destroyer, the devil himself, which is who Asclepius is, um, and the other Nephilim abominations, you know, against God, you're entering into an agreement with them, okay, to consider dear to me as my parents, uh, him who taught me this art. Now an art of course is witchcraft, okay? to live in common with him and if necessary to share my goods with him, to look upon his children as my own brothers, to teach them this art and that by my teaching I will impart a knowledge of this art to my own sons and my teacher's sons and to disciples bound by an indenture oath according to the medical laws and no others. So then these medical laws now are with Apollyon the destroyer. I will prescribe uh, regimens for the good of my patients according to my ability and my judgment and never do harm to anyone. Well, I could take issue with that because I know a lot of people have been harmed by people within the medical profession. I'm one myself who has been harmed. I have been helped also, but I have also been harmed, okay? So uh, this oath is worthless and it's an, it's, a, it's an oath to the beast. Now, let's carry on. I will give no deadly medicine to anyone if asked. What about if you're not asked? It doesn't cover that bit, does it? Uh, nor suggest any such counsel. And similarly, I will not give a woman a pessary to cause an abortion. Fine, what about all the other methods of abortion? Uh, but I will preserve the purity of my life and my arts. What purity would that be with the beast from the pit? Uh, and the arts, of course, are, are magic. Um, I will not cut for stone. That's talking about um, taking out um, you know, kidney stones and all that stuff, uh, okay? Um, even for patients who wound the disease, the disease is manifest, I will leave this operation to be formed by practitioners specialist in this art. In every house where I come, I will enter only for the good of my patients, keeping myself far from all intentional ill-doing and all seduction, especially uh, from the pleasures of love with women or men, be they free or slave. So intent, no intentional ill-doing, but how about unintentional? Um, it doesn't cover that either. Um, all that may come to my knowledge in the exercise of my profession or in daily commerce with men which ought not to be spread abroad, I will keep secret and will never reveal. So they were saying that they will not reveal your medical details and stuff like that. Maybe someone should have told that to the BBC. But anyway, um, if I keep this oath faithfully, may I enjoy my life and practice my art, respected by all humanity and in all times, but if I swerve from it or violate it, may the reverse be my life. Now it all sounds honourable. Trouble is, um, it's all about it's all about the devil. Um, it's all about Apollyon the Destroyer. Uh, how can it possibly be honourable? It can't be. How about this oath be changed? Um, but there again, you see, God says that, you know, you must not swear on anything in heaven or earth because it doesn't belong to you. Just let your yes be yes and your no be no. But to swear an oath based upon the beast from the pit from the book of Revelation cannot possibly be good. I'm sorry. I don't agree.